Hey folks, uh, Practical Prepper 001 here. I'm doing this uh, video because uh, there's a lot of misconception on uh, what a prepper or actually I prefer really a uh, survivalist. Same thing. Just a matter of semantics, I guess. Anyways, you know, a lot of people, you know, for them uh, there's some kind of qualification or uh, some kind of expertise to be, you know, to be a survivalist, aka prepper. Well, from experience, you know, I, I'll give you a quick uh, rundown. I was born in big cities. I, you know, I lived in uh, big urban, major urban cities, and I've also gone to the other extreme. I've lived uh, totally off the land, in the woods, you know, surrounded by forests and the nearest neighbor a quarter mile to a few miles away, respectively. And uh, I still wouldn't consider myself uh, an expert by any means, you know. I don't believe in expert. You know, that doesn't mean there's not people out there qualified and professionals and all that. That's not what I'm saying here. So please, you know, use a little common sense and what I'm referring to is uh, to survive, you don't need a label, you don't need to join a club, you don't need to even make videos and but your everyday life, you know, put them on YouTube, you know, if you're breathing and you're walking, you're a survivalist. Now, if you want to ensure or at least, not necessarily ensure, there's no such thing as a guarantee in life. But if you want to, how do I put this, uh, ensure, ensure the quality of life that you would like to keep, you know, that you have, if you're happy with it, that you would like to keep, uh, then uh, you prepare. So hence, you become a prepper. See, for me, uh, I've been uh, to the extremes, so I don't want to merely survive. I want to not just also thrive, but I, for me, I'd rather be, feel like I'm camping. It's a big difference between camping and surviving in the woods or even in the urban settings and environments. So I just want to, you know, make sure that, uh, at least by my definition, when I say prepper, like, you know, my name, my YouTube name, Practical Prepper, like all things, you know, I like practical things. And I prep, but the mindset of, uh, I don't have a, an, an identity crisis. Some people seem to have an ID crisis and uh, they need some kind of label for, you know, for them to function and guide them through life or something. I don't, for me, you know, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me after midnight. It's a joke. But seriously, uh, prepping, surviving, it, it's, it's a way of life for me. And, uh, and I'm necessarily in a, I don't see it like in an obsessive or a fanatical way. I'm not obsessive or fanatical about anything. I merely do something I enjoy doing so and I incorporate it into my life so as you will notice in the videos to come a lot of my supplies a lot of my so-called preps they've you know they serve their purpose and now I gotta replenish most of them but they serve well so and uh, there's a lesson there for many of you who want to get into this prepping don't be afraid don't mystify don't make it you know don't think it's something out of your grasp it's not you know there's a good I like I consider him a, a good friend here on YouTube that he makes videos and the other day he pointed out and I'm a hundred percent with him you know everybody concentrates everybody obsesses over gear when the most important gear is really 
it's you, your health. Without it, everything else, there's no point. It's just like, you know, you're prepping to survive to make it. But if you're not healthy, and that's something that uh, in my one or two previous videos I touch upon, you know, something happened and uh, how out of shape I am, well, I already lost uh, 15 pounds and I got a whole lot more to go and, but, hey, I'm getting there. So, just something to think about. Uh, this is a uh, Practical Prepper 001, out of sight, not out of mind. Take care, guys.